UFC fight night, Corey Sanhagen gets it done against Marlon Chito Vera. A great fight on Corey Sanhagen's side. He executed a fantastic game plan of diminishing the, the KO power that Chito has by just moving around. Um, lateral movement was such a huge factor in yesterday's fight because... That is kind of what Cheeto hasn't seen in a long time. You might say Dominic Cruz, but with the age, um, he's a little bit slower. So it was probably a lot easier for Cheeto to get that knockout. Corey Sanhagen said that he he knew that he was a slow starter. Um, rounds one and two, 100%. He did what he had to do. He got the takedown. He was landing some great strikes off of that ground control. And Chito didn't really look like he was trying his best to get up. He looked like he was fine staying on the ground. I was hoping I'd see some sort of jujitsu out of him. But maybe on Corey's side, he had great control. Maybe on Cheeto's side, he just wasn't used to this type of thing because usually it's not what he does he loves to strike cheetah loves to strike so Corey gets it done split decision uh one of the judges joel ojeda gives it 48 47 for marlin which was completely blew us all out of the water we never would have thought we would give rounds to cheeto in my eyes i'm a big cheeto fan i love him he's probably my favorite fighter right now i had him losing every single round you could make a case for round three after we watch it round five maybe but regardless it's either 49 46 or 50 45 so how did the judge joel ojeda give it to him um i was looking on the internet i was looking at like like reddit YouTube. A lot of people are saying rounds three. I give Cheeto round three. That's it. A lot of people are saying round five. I give Cheeto round five. That's it. And then today I was looking at um, YouTube again and a lot of people were saying I give Cheeto round four and that's it. So I don't know. Maybe I do need to rewatch it because that's what Joel Ojeda gave Cheeto. He gave him rounds three, four, and five. But I mean, I don't know. Just watching it from the first get-go it was a 50 45 cheeto knew it um usually cheeto is notorious for not liking the judge's decisions in past fights he wasn't a fan of the song Dong split decision for song cheeto understood he knew he lost jason perlo knew that he was losing but it was just a weird weird fight for cheeto i was really disappointed i was really sad that he looked like he just could not figure out Corey sanhagen i was one of those people that's like he is slow um but he's he's seeing habits from especially in the dominic cruz fight he saw how hard dominic cruz was dipping to his left or right after a jab that's when he got that knockout finish in the fourth was because he fainted the jab into the the head kick to where Dominic Cruz would sway his head. So I really didn't. I just thought it'd be a better fight. That's what I wanted. I thought we would see both of their stocks, regardless of win or lose, stay right where they are or go a little bit higher because I was hoping it'd be a fight of the year candidate. But Cheeto didn't show up to dance. Um, Corey Sanhagen has the much higher repertoire of uh fighters that he's fought he's fought for a title he's fought tj dillashaw peter yawn aljamain sterling all of these guys are future or past champs i should say or current champs with aljo both Corey calling out marab that's interesting because last night i was like no marab will win it's it's an easy fight i think marab should he beats every single fighter in the bantamweight division besides probably Umar Nurmagomedov. Um, that would be a good fight. But when I slept on it last night, thinking about t today, Corey Sanhagen versus Marab is a lot closer than I think a lot of people might think. Solely based on the fact that Corey is not afraid to fight Marab. When you see a performance like that from Marab's side where it was 50-45s against Peter Yan. I mean, nobody wants to call him out except for Corey, which was dope. Corey said that he was planning on calling out Sean O'Malley, which I think is a great fight as well. But after seeing Rob's performance, 
he wants to go for the gusto, which is killer. I love that. Now that I think about it, I do want to see Murad versus Corey. I still think Corey versus Sean O'Malley is a much more fun fight. We do need to see Sean O'Malley back in the octagon because now we don't know who the true number one contender is. Um, with the whole Marab and Aljo friendship, it's kind of causing a weird like gray area where we don't know who's going to get the next title shot if Aljo beats Cejudo. So it's interesting. I think there's a lot of discussion behind closed doors between Marab and Aljo. I want to say that Aljo is win or lose is going to move up to featherweight so that he can give Marab a chance. But on the flip side, Aljo's now losing the belt, which is he's losing the pay-per-view points. So it's money-wise, maybe not the best idea. I don't know. That's why friendships in MMA are very, very hard. Um, we saw the same thing with John Jones and Rampage. No, not Rampage. Uh, Rashad Evans. So it's weird. As for Cheeto, I think he needs to fight Jan. If he beats Jan, does he move up? He probably might move up to one or two spots because Jan is on such a steep decline. But for both of those fighters, it's it's win or go home. This is where they will decide if they are championship level material or not. And I think it'll be a great striking matchup. But I don't know, man. It's either Jan or maybe if... Adrian Yanez beats Rob Font. That'd be a good one. If Sangi Dong wants to run it back with Cheeto, there's already past history with that, um, past beef. So I don't know. I just really hope that Marlon can get back in it, um, can find confidence again. And I hope Jason Perlo can I hopefully motivate him a little bit more. Um the talking in between rounds of what's going on, it kind of hurt because it's like, man, what is going on? And you kind of wish that he got the Rocky talk of like, what are you doing? Like, pull it out the fire. You got to get this finish. Um, it is what it is. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that fight. 48-47 for Cheeto was crazy, but according to people online, rounds three, four, and five, they saw Cheeto edging out i just didn't see it 50 45 Corey sanhagen 49 46 maybe Corey sanhagen let me know what you guys think thank you guys for watching peace